is Paul of Rekt Radio, and welcome to the Thursday edition of Rekt Radio. So first in music news, the Wall Street Journal has been questioning Barack Obama's taste in music when he answered that he likes Lil Wayne and Jay-Z. This would actually be a really great question to throw to you guys. As the Wall Street Journal said, they think that it's problematic if the president is liking music from proclaimed uh, gangsters, drug dealers, or criminals. Do you think that there's a problem with the president liking this kind of music, or do you think that it is completely irrelevant when it comes to how he runs the country? Would you feel any better if he was listening to Marilyn Manson, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus? Bottom line, does music preference help you make an opinion on such a world power as our president? Food for thought. Some politics this Thursday. Ooh, scary. In Billboard charts news this week, something toppling happened. The Beatles, who held record for third place in most visits on the charts, was beaten by Glee cast. Beatles, who had 71 visits to the chart, was beaten by Glee, who, with this recent ad of this week's uh, new singles, made it to 75. But Glee could probably attribute some of their success to the Beatles because a couple of their prominent releases are covers of the Beatles, including the chart-topping Hello Goodbye. I love how some of the articles headlined this story, including my favorite from Absolute Punk, which was Glee is more popular than the Beatles. And Jesus. <laughs> if you know that reference, then you'd be laughing too. <laughs> and finally, Gene Simmons wants to sue everyone when it comes to file sharing. Make sure your band is protected. Sue everybody. Take their homes, their cars. Don't let anybody cross that line. Yes, apparently Gene is very angry about illegal downloading on the internet. He was also um, plugging his new sale of Kiss coffins and bikes because they pretty much sell everything. Some videos to check out after this one include Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Fame, which is a release by Black Cards. It's actually not much of a video, it's just a picture of Pete and his um and his lead singer. I forget our name at the moment. But it is pretty good and they have their tour dates below. Also you can go check out Adam Lazera of Taking Back Sunday. Go join Anne Berlin when singing Pray Tell on stage. Some other videos on your list are Dust Storm by Spill Canvas, which is pretty freaking adorable, and Linkin Park's new Waiting for the End. Streaming Valencia is streaming their entire album for Dancing with a the Ghost. They are also making some stops in some record stores, so if you want to go see those dates and meet up with Amberlynn in various, like, maybe five venues, then definitely check that out, guys. And in tour news recently, Fun told their audience members that they will be recording a new album after the tour is over. So, Fun fans, anybody who's a fan of Fun, go check that out. Releases for this week include Valencia, Dancing with the Ghosts, as mentioned, Where the Ocean Meets the Sky, Empires, and You, Me, and Everyone We Know, Some Things Don't Wash Out. How you doing? I don't. I, I. I really haven't asked that in a while. How are you guys doing? I'll see you guys later. Peace, love, rock and roll. Whoa! You totally got that. That's awesome. Punk rock man.